Published in 1815, the Stanford Smith map is mounted on 16 linen segments and is stored in a leather case. The first step in the digitization process is ascertaining the appropriate resolution for image capture. The map is carefully unfolded and measured in several places to determine the width of the finest representative details using a 15 times magnification loop with a millimeter scale inside. This map contains exceedingly fine detail and will be imaged at 600 pixels per inch. The height of the 60 megapixel camera back is adjusted to 600 pixels per inch. Then a target is used to determine exact resolution, focus, and color. This target will be shot any time the camera is moved or at the beginning and end of the day to maintain an acceptable delta of change. Software is then used to evaluate the output from the target and to ensure that proper quality standards are met. The target is then removed and the map is imaged in parts. In this case, it took 238 shots to digitize the map, accompanying memoir, and case. At 600 ppi, the resulting images or tiles will be 10 inch by 10 inch squares imaged with a 10 to 20 percent overlap between the tiles. These tiles are then processed and cropped on the local hard drive using Capture One imaging software. Completed images are uploaded to a network server where they can be accessed by the Digital Production Group's quality control staff. Tiles for each segment are downloaded to the quality control workstations and stitched together in Photoshop to create surrogate copies of each part of the physical map. The goal is to create accurate copies of the physical map without enhancement or embellishment. Once all the segments are stitched, all the parts of the main map are digitally arranged to create a high quality composite image. A grand composite is also created which contains images of all sections of the main map, as well as the general map, the pages of the accompanying booklet, and the leather gold leaf embellished case. All of the images associated with this map will be shepherded through the accessioning pipeline, published to Perl, and preserved in the Stanford Digital Repository, ensuring easy access to the digital copy and preservation of the original map for generations to come.